y'all. Much love, much peace to y'all. What's up, YouTube? What's up, Fury fam? Fury fam, what's happening? We in the building. All right. What we got today? You know what I'm saying? We got... You know what I'm saying? See, we got a response video. This, that, this, is, this is from what K. Michelle says. That all oh, men ain't good. But you know what? Ain't no sense in me stressing about it. Because I'm going to let B103, you know what I'm saying? And Frank and Freddie, well, if I get his name right, excuse me if I ain't get his name right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm going to let them talk to you right quick. Because I think they hit it on the noggin. And I think, you know what I'm saying, it's well said, you know what I'm saying? I think I don't pretty much have to say much, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just gonna leave you with this clip right here. Enjoy it. You told hold, hold on, Big E. Hold on one second. All right, Derek, go ahead. What you think? Man, look, <laughs> I get what she's saying, and I get what he's saying to an extent, a much smaller extent. But in the same way, he's generalizing, you know, everybody up here is being battered because they have very valid experiences. I think in the same way, K. Michelle King generalized men because she's had some bad experiences that all guys are trash and all of that. Once again, you're only going to attract that thing that you're so focused on if that's the only thing that you're materializing and validating out here. So I have a question for K. Michelle. Like, what exactly is a 1%? What does that look like? What is that great guy? Like Jesus and Obama. Okay. So with that being said, both of those men, both of those men are spoken for. So you have everybody. You got every right to believe that there's no other good man except for Jesus and Obama. Okay, cool. But I see it's better than last time I gave you two. But you would be unwise to even pursue a relationship thinking it can be anything other than toxic. You real? Because you're saying I only got space for the. They creep me out. They creep me out. Like they creep me out. The one person, the one, the one person that I thought was in that one percent, the one person that I thought was gonna have my back, the one per it, it didn't go down like Holding that. Holding on to that and defining everything by that one. Experience. No, I had, I was real messed up in the head way before him. He ain't gonna take all that responsibility. That's though. real. You oh, were AT aliens did that, you know. Uh, <laughs> so. <laughs> so here's the thing. Do you even want to be in a healthy relationship at all? Do, do you um, I don't believe they're possible. Okay, so you're just gonna be single the rest of your life and you're good. And no. I'm not single. I'm just floating. Are you happy just floating? Like truly happy, not not with any kind of front. I'm, really I'm happy with certain aspects. I'm not overall completely happy. When I find that ultimate peace, that's what I like really try to strive for. If you're committed to that, that's the only thing that you're ever going to get. And so long as you're at peace with that, I'm good. I can't tell you what to think. But in order to have something else, you got to be open to something else. I just think all of else. them are bad. I'd rather stay in the in the um, best worst situation because they all messed up. That's your guard being put up, and you think it's keeping you safe, but really it's keeping you stuck. It's keeping you stuck. In the keep same, me stuck it's from. keeping you in the, it's keeping you stuck away from anything that could possibly be different so i'm blocking out another another offender it's like if you were to fail on your dreams if you were to fail at your career over and over again and say you know what I nobody's if nobody's ever going to love me in my voice nobody's ever going to appreciate me guess what you don't step into that next record exec's office you don't put that next song out you don't even try you don't give it a chance therefore okay. you are committing your ceiling your faith as never being successful but when i speak it's not not just on me, I'm speaking on the women that come to me. Okay, can I ask you a question? Mm -hmm. What about your daddy? Um, my daddy, he, he is my daddy. My daddy is strong. My daddy is brilliant. Is He's he in the one percent? Um, no, Jesus and Obama's in the one percent. That's my one percent, but my I've had men around and I've had men around. No, but I'm saying, is your daddy in the one percent? Well, I want to say he is because he's my daddy. Okay. I'm gonna be real. I'll be real and say because he's my daddy. You know, when from the time he, I, like, that's we, that's we, a man that right. showed me love. But I was getting ready to say something to you. What I'm seeing is in the days we've been spending together, you are a perfectionist. Very much. You have done things beyond the imagination to be perfect in every aspect of your life. Thank your daddy gave you a bunch of history and a bunch of knowledge. Mm -hmm. You're a very smart person, went to school to get a psychology degree, a whole night. You, you are a perfectionist and you have this high level. And what happens is you now have that 
in the midst of another side of you that wants to hood do. No, no, no. My dude is not hood. Not, not your dude now, <laughs> but when you came not in, now. you oh, said. when I came in, I wanted that. That's I what I'm saying. Gold so li the, dreads, listen, I follow what dreads. I'm saying. You got this perfectionist, and your dad is the epitome of what a black man should be. He ran a damn his black history museum, uh -huh. right? Mm -hmm. But then on the side, you want the hood dude. You go out in the street, mess with the hood dude. They totally trash you and break your heart. Yeah. Now you're comparing now what you want with this high level of expectation no to your experience being with these hood dudes. And what Derek is saying... No, I date all type open... of these men. <laughs> no, but you can't because you're not attracting all type of these men. Mm -hmm. Because your aura is only going to attract a man that thinks he can deal with you. And that's what Derek is saying. Okay. Your aura is only going to attract a certain... See, women got to understand, you're only going to attract what what you put out. So if you want something different, you have to learn within to put out something different. Now, Frank, I don't believe I that. I think you. I think good, bad, or ugly, you're going to attract the good, bad, and ugly. Look okay. women Michelle back Obama's going to attract everything. It's about what you entertain, what you accept. Okay. She just talked about her a little bit earlier, like her dude ain't doing what he's supposed to be doing, but she's still with him. She's entertaining it. She's allowing him to continue to be in her space. You haven't risen the value on your space to make somebody have to earn it by doing more than what the guy who's currently in your life is doing. Yep. They were right. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit. They were right. Buddy hit it on the noggin. You know what I'm saying? You know? A lot of y'all women, man, y'all come up from a hurt place. And I understand. I understand, man. I truly understand. You know what I'm saying? Looking, you know, looking for the right dude, man, it's hard. I ain't gonna lie. It's very hard. Especially when you live in that. It's hard. It's hard, it's hard, it's hard. Like, trust me, Jay Fury knows that y'all women, man, y'all go through a lot, man. Y'all do. And we could scar y'all, you know what I'm saying? But half of that is coming from y'all own insecurities, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I'm not going to go hard on y'all because I, I feel like, you know what I'm saying, this is how I feel. I feel like enough has been said throughout that whole trip. And I said, I don't have to pretty much keep on talking. But I'm going to say this, though. And I'm going to say this, though. I need to draw all my heart. Man. You know, if y'all want that perfect dude out there, man, if y'all want, if y'all really want that perfect dude, pray for him. Pray for him. You know what I'm saying? Pray for that perfect man to come in your life. You know what I'm saying? Pray for the characteristics, you know what I'm saying, that you want within a man. God can provide that for you, you know what I'm saying. God can provide all that for you, you know what I'm saying. Just pray, man. You have patience. He's coming, you know what I'm saying. But not every guy out there is bad, you know what I'm saying. A lot of us is misunderstood, but we ain't bad. I thought I was gonna come on here yelling and all that. No, 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 no. The thing about it is, man, I'm on, I'm on like a split vacation. So basically, man, I'm, I'm, I'm chilling. Man. I don't got time for all that today. You know what I'm saying? It's like I'm slick going in. I'm slick going in though. But I'm not going in at a at an aggressive detriment. So with that said, man, much peace and love. All y'all hurt females out there that is looking for a good man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all gonna get one, man. Let's believe that, man. Y'all just keep the faith, man. He out there. He out there, man. All right, man. That's it.